First at 10, a teenager killed outside his high school in D.C. The suspect, one of his classmates. Now, this all happened right after school let out this afternoon. Classes are canceled now for tomorrow, we've learned, at KIPP D.C. in Northeast. Fox 5's Lindsay Watts joining us live from outside the school with the very latest. Lindsay. The student killed has not been identified by police, but we know he was 15 years old and the student arrested was 16. KIPP D.C. is a college prep academy, a charter school here in D.C., and classes here only began on Monday. Police say right here in front of the school is where an altercation happened that ended in this deadly stabbing. Earlier today, right around here where I'm standing, we could see some items left behind, evidence markers around some scooters, what looks like a, a backpack and some clothing. This went on right after school got out today. It was just about 3 o'clock. A D.C. fire source tells me that when paramedics responded here, it was a chaotic scene. This is on Brentwood Parkway, about a block from Union Market. He says there was a crowd of frantic students, parents, and administrators that the 15-year-old stabbed was in very bad condition. He was stabbed in the chest, and paramedics performed CPR. I spoke to a D.C. mom tonight who helps ensure that families and friends of victims get mental health counseling after these kinds of horrible crimes involving children. She also has a connection to this school. My children went to KIPP. KIPP is very good academically, especially when it comes to you graduating from their facility. They give you scholarships and all that. So this is very shocking. I'm pretty sure that this 15-year-old leaving out this building did not think that that was going to be his last time, you know, leaving school. KIPP sent out a letter to parents soon after this happened, letting them know school is canceled tomorrow and that virtual counselors will be available. D.C. Police Chief Robert Conti was here on scene. He says an off-duty MPD officer was providing security inside the school as all of this was going on, and the officer called for backup when he saw the group of students gathered after school. He called this a senseless act. My deepest condolences to both families uh, involved in this situation because whether you are the, the, the perpetrator of the crime or the deceased person in this case, uh, it's sad, period, because this is something that did not have to happen. The school says there will be an increased police presence as well as private security in the days ahead. Back to you.